Hello and welcome to another Maya tutorial. Today we've got this little gingerbread man shape here. Um, just started with a simple cylinder and started extruding out a body and then some arms and um, twisting and turning. So we've got a very basic shape. Um, I think recognizable to most of us as humanoid. And what I want to demonstrate today is the new quick rig feature um, found in Maya 2016 extension 2 up here. Um, and then also available uh, in versions thereafter. So before we even do this, I do want to take this guy and put him down on the ground. I have had some problems in the past using Quick Rig uh, with a floating character. It likes to it likes to have that reference point. So I'm just going to hit the space bar here, grab my move tool, and I'm going to move him down here to where I know that plane's at. And as long as he's close to and or touching that ground plane, we should be fine. Space bar back out. So I'm going to go over to my rigging tab here. And you can see the new thing is highlighted in green. This is our auto rig, uh, quick rig here. And it says new in Maya 2016 extension 2. They're not lying. So I'm going to turn this guy on. And this opens up a new panel. Make sure I grab my character. Uh, and there, there's multiple ways to do this. We can go through step by step and, and help control some of the process, or we can just roll the dice and do a one click. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. So with my character selected, my quick rig panel up, I'm just going to click on auto rig. You can see it's trying to identify points. It's put some skeletons in to the scene and it's done, or it thinks it's done. But here's a problem. Look at this thing. Um, if your skeleton looked like this, you probably would be a professional contortionist or dead. So uh, over here, we've got the human IK panel over on the side. I can grab the head, right? And we can see that that's highlighted there. There's the head. Uh, here's the torso, still up in the head for Gingerbread Man here. The shoulders are up in the head. The elbow looks to be all the way down here with the wrist popping out. So because this doesn't look enough, at least geometry wise, to the Maya quick rig um, system, it didn't know what to do. And so I could grab this. I'm just going to actually just grab the, the center node here um, at the base. And he kind of jumps up and down. You can see his legs buckle in when he comes back down. Um, I love to, to test rigs this way. So just grab him by the waist and, and throw him up and down. And you can see some, some of the issues in the legs there. I think if I attempt to move the elbow out, we can actually get a better picture of what's going on with this rig. Right? So it thinks the elbow is actually where the shoulder's at. No idea what it's going to do with the shoulder. So I'll move the shoulder forward. We've got this mess. Anyway, you can see this is not going to work. Um, unless we just really want this crazy deformed thing, we probably want a different result. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've figured this problem out already, um, that this particular character just didn't have enough geometry um, and was not proportionally humanoid enough for this thing to work. So I'm just going to go ahead and open my other scene where I fix this. I've got Gingerbread Man 01 here. Open that. We do not want to save this mess. All right, and I took the same Gingerbread Man and I extended his legs out, extended his arm out, arms out, gave him some hands and feet, um, extended his neck a little bit. All right, same basic shape, but now he looks a whole lot more humanoid now. And one other thing to note is I do have him facing um, up the z-axis, right? And so that's that's also helpful when we're trying to do these characters uh, with Quick Rig. So I'm going to grab this guy. I'm just going to go to Selection here. And we'll try it all over again. So I'm going to try the Auto Rig and Quick Rig or Quick Rig Auto Rig. We'll stick with one click for now. And we let Maya think for just a bit. It identified some points. Giant skeleton here. 
So not only does it rig it, but it also binds the skin, which is a very important um, and usually tedious job. So is this perfect? No, it really isn't. Uh, but this is workable for a simple game or, or a simple animation, right? So I'm going to grab the wrist. Okay, it thinks the wrist is here where kind of the thumb was. Uh, the elbow is about halfway between the wrist and the elbow as far as my geometry. The shoulder seems roughly right. All right, we've got the base. We've got the head here. Hips are in good spot. The knees appear to be correct. Ankles, toes, and then our base node. All right, so I'm going to grab them by the waist again. We'll just test this out, and we'll, we'll jump them up and down. He goes up. He comes down. His knees kind of bend the right way. One thing to know is we, we really want to, to grab these, uh, these little nodes um, for the control rig and, and not try to move the bones themselves. I could move the bone or could try to move the bone. This one's actually not going to let me. But it, if you try to move the bone, you'll end up distorting it. If you use the control rig nodes, then it at least tries to maintain uh, proper IK constraints. And so we can see that's what the elbow would look like if it were positioned. Big bob his head. There are some constraints on here, so we can't do too much to mess him up. But yeah, you can lift his lift his ankle, which bends his knee. All right, I'm going to grab his root here, and I'm going to try and return him to default. Oh, I've got to grab everything and then return it to default. And so then it just drops him back into a, a regular pose. Um, not the original pose that we had on the mesh, but what it believes the pose should be based on the skeleton that it guessed. Anyway, that is a, no pun intended, really quick way to rig a character in Maya. Uh, check out the playlist later on, and we will take this character with a little more decoration on him and drop him out of Maya and into Unity and start walking him around.